In the previous sessions, we covered the init process and zygote process. We also looked at the code from where zygote forked the system server process. Let's start from there and see what exactly system server is doing. So in the previous session, we looked at the zygote init.java, right? So there we saw that the system server is system server process is created using fork mechanism. So it's done here. So fork system server. So inside fork system server method, we could see that the command line is hard coded. And here we could see this system server class. It refers to the system server dot Java class. And using these arguments, here it's calling the fork system server. So inside fork system server, basically calling a JNI method called fork system server. So this you can find within this CPP file. So if you look at, you can see that it's the package name and the class name. Okay, com.android.internal.os.cygote. So the cygote is cygote.java from which it is called. So this is this one. So finally, this method will come back to the system server. The system server main method. And as you could see from the main method, it simply calls system server dot run. So within run, there are three main methods. So the start bootstrap services method, the start core services method and start other services method. The start bootstrap services method starts small tangle of critical services that are needed to get the system off the ground. These services have complex mutual dependencies, which is why it is initialized at one place. So in case if you are planning to add a service that is very much interdependent on these bootstrap services, then you could add it within this method. But if it is not dependent on any of these bootstrap services, you should not add it here. You should consider adding it in these other methods start core services or start other services okay so mostly this will be the preferable place if you the service which you are going to add doesn't have any dependency on these then it's advisable you can add it in the start other services method okay so the start bootstrap services is responsible to start a set of services which are actually interrelated so here is a list of major services which are started by bootstrap services so here we have installer which is basically a service class used when the system installs the apk and then we have the activity manager service or ams which is basically responsible for startup switching and scheduling of these four major components of the system then the power manager service for power related calculations in the system lights service for managing the back leds display manager service for handling the display devices within the system, user manager service, multi-user mode management, sensor services are basically to provide various sensor services for the system and finally the package manager service for installing and uninstalling the APKs. So in this method you can see it starts each of the service one by one like the installer is started here, power stat service is started here and activity manager power manager thermal manager and many of the services are started here so you can also look at the trace logs you could see when it is started and when it is up and running so next we have start core services so the start core services method starts some essential services that are not dependent on the bootstrap process so here is a list of main services within the core service so here we have the battery service which manages the battery related services usage stat service it collects how often users use each app and how often they are used then web view update service 
service related to web view updates and then we have the gpu service it's uh, basically to handle gpu and the gpu driver so within start core services we can see it starts all these services the usage service web view update service and here you can see if, if the device supports feature web view then only it starts it so similarly there are many conditions across these methods so only if the device supports a particular feature it will start some services and the binder called stats service loop looper stats service and finally the gpu service so next is the start other services start other services method starts a set of miscellaneous services so here is a list of major services started by start other service method so the camera service this handles the camera related stuffs alarm manager service it's the global timer management service input management service so this is for the ime the input keyboard and then we have the window manager service it handles the window management and the vr manager service it's for the vr mode management services bluetooth service bluetooth management service notification manager service it handles the notifications of the system device storage monitor service so this is related to the um, sd card storage related management services then the location manager service handles the location stuffs and audio service it handles the audio related services so we'll look in detail some of the services in the later sessions so there are few more things which we need to note down here like some of the services are only for some devices so here you can see is only for is watch and then here as well we have some condition so if it is disabled camera service then do that not disabled then do that and similarly there are some cases where it's only for automotive and there are some cases where it's only for um, tv so this is only core so this case we check if there is a feature wi-fi then only start the wi-fi and here if it has a usb feature then start the usb service so if it has a backup feature then start that app widget feature then start the app widget service so there are many conditions here so not all services are started for all devices so based on the device and some configurations it will ignore some of the services and if you come down at this spot we can see that it says to activity manager service that the system is ready and this tells the activity manager that it's okay to run the third party code so this is an example where it checks for feature automotive so this will get started only if the build is an automotive build and at this port will basically start the system ui so this method is responsible for starting the system ui we'll dig deeper into this when we cover the system ui startup process so this is basically the last service within the start other services method